Hello Internet, and welcome to this segment I'm going to call... Sensory Shorties, I guess. Where I'm going to taste something and narrate it to you. Doesn't that sound exciting? This episode is brought to you by my friend Ryan, who recently visited a chocolate factory and sent me some interesting bars that they made. So let's get down to it. I actually don't know which ones he sent, but I guess... So we have... Bubblegum Sunday. Those are Bubblegum Sunday. <laughs> what? There's... Let's see. Can you read that? I'll read it out. It's a bizarre chocolate bar, cheddar cheese and crackers in milk chocolate. Proudly handmade in Newcastle upon Tyne. And I guess the company is the Chocolate Smiths, in case I don't mention that. So that'll probably come after the bubblegum. And our last one is... Oh good, a normal flavor. I found it last. We have a salted caramel brownie, which is in a milk chocolate. So I guess what I'll be doing is going in order of bizarre last and starting with the significantly less bizarre over here. So we'll be starting with the brownie. <laughs> okay, they do have a website. I'll put it in the description of the video. Watch the exciting footage of me opening up a chocolate bar. You think I'll find a golden ticket? Just like Willy Wonka? I'd probably be the kid who died. I'd be like the modernized Mike TV. So this is what a chunk of the bar looks like. You can see a little bit of brownie there. So let's try it. Ready? No, oh, just get the bouquet of... Oh no, it smells like nice chocolate. All right, let's do the sensory trial. It's good. I mean, it's kind of hard to be bad when you're chocolate, unless it's like rancid or old. But it's good chocolate. It was well-tempered, it had a good snap to it. It's sweet. I guess the only note that wasn't very strong was the caramel, but you do get the salt and the little brownie bit. You know, the problem with taste testing chocolate is it's like doing a study with free steak. It's like, everyone's going to rate it 5 out of 5, because who doesn't like steak? Unless you're me and you don't like steak, but you get the example. I guess I should probably rate these. That's what people like to see in these kind of videos. So I'll give the brownie, crunch, salted caramel, who's he what, a 6.5 out of 10. Now let's go into the little less plebeian, pedestrian, to the bubblegum sundae, which is the largest bar, unfortunately, because it's mainly white chocolate. Which I'm not a fan of for straight up eating, just because if I'm having chocolate, I want the flavor of chocolate, not just the texture of cocoa butter. We need some sexy music for this stripping of chocolate bars, like... Uh, it's a little bit broken up. Let's take a look at a nice big chunk of it. There you go. See, there's a little bit of chocolate swirl, and they have that, I guess, cotton candy pink and blue. That very unnatural blue. How's that? It's probably upside down, but I'm not looking at the camera right now, so I can't tell. I guess let's try a piece with mostly cocoa chocolate on it. Oh. Don't no. No, I'm filming a thing. Cat, why? You were asleep. Two rooms over. Stripes. No. It doesn't smell like bubblegum, but then again, I haven't chewed bubblegum in years, ever since I had braces. 
I didn't really miss gum either. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, jeez. It actually tastes like bubble gum. I guess it's a better choice than trying to do, like, cotton candy flavor, because cotton candy is just sponge sugar. But I wonder what? It's like the exact flavoring compound in bubble gum. Excuse me while I make a mess and look at this. Fruity bubblegum flavoring, topped with sugar sprinkles, and Belgian chocolate. Oh cool, there's cochineal in this. That's that natural red color. Yeah, they're not gonna tell us. We just get flavoring substances. It's probably something you can look up. For its final score, I think I'll give the cotton candy sundae a... too sweet for me out of 10. Also, I don't like white chocolate as a bar. So I might be a little biased. And come to think of it, I don't think I like bubblegum either. Last but not least, I'm really glad Ryan sent this one my way, because it definitely is interesting. And I'm just crackers about cheese and crackers in chocolate. And it's actually kind of funny. I was watching an episode of Chopped yesterday, and a guy paired, like, Gruyere cheese on top of a chocolate cake-based sandwich. Because it was like a dessert challenge, he was trying to make a croque monsieur parody. But I was like, no, chocolate and cheese? Really? I'm not so sure about that. I should probably be lifting it so you can see it as I open it. Ah. Oh, geez, it does smell like cheese. Yeah, that definitely smells like cheese. You can see the chunk of what I assume is either cheese or cracker, but it definitely <laughs> smells of it. And just for you guys, gotta do the chunk with the big bit of... I don't know, I guess that feels more like cracker. I mean, it tastes like what it says on the tin. It really does taste like this chocolate, cheese, and cracker. Candy bar definitely tastes like chocolate, cheese, and cracker, and cheddar, cheese specifically. Yeah, it's like, it's not bad. It's just kind of like, you know, it's there. They're kind of separate. How do I quite put this? The cheese part isn't like obnoxiously present. Would I try it again without the novelty? I'm not sure. Yeah, it just... It's just what it tastes like. Let me see if I can put into words better. Yeah, it's just like milk chocolate with cheddar flavoring. I guess there's there actual cheddar cheese in it. Sorry, this interests me as a food scientist. No, it's just cheddar cheese flavoring. Okay, but the crackers are really cracker bits in it. Like, it's not bad. It's not obnoxious. It's not like ketchup flavored ice cream, where it's very dissonant. This is more consonant. I know, I like it. I try it out on my friends. And for our final rating, I'll give this bar a chocolate cheese out of crackers. So, thank you again to Ryan for sending this to me. I'll put a link to his YouTube in the description. And I'll also put a link to this company in case you're interested in checking it out. It's the Chocolate Smiths. And thank you very much for watching. Come on. Look, look, you're on TV. <laughs> the stripes are ruining the video.